Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video. Um, I just want to let you all know that this is week 13 in I racing, which means that you know everybody chills out, has a bit of fun. There's n no incident limits. You know, it's all unofficial. Just having some fun, wind down from the season, and we'll start again next season. So I hope you enjoy this video with the BMW M8 GTE, brand new to the I racing service. Oh, what's up guys, welcome back to some iRacing and today I have a very special thing to show you. I am using the brand new M8 GTE at Le Mans. It's, it's um, week 13 so remember most of the rules don't exist this week. And we are supposed to be qualifying for Le Mans but I'm not really going to qualify. I've never, I've never, you know, no point, it's not needed this week. I'm just trying to rearrange the heads up display so that I can use this down here, which is the little uh, rear TV camera. And uh, so, obviously, I'm changing the hood about because obviously I'm going to be doing enduro work and um, I'm going to be doing a lot of work in the RMS this season. But yeah, he's just talking. Matt was talking about the um, uh, and Matt Fox was talking about the F1 documentary on Netflix. Um, I was thinking about watching it, but I'm meh about F1. So yeah, so this is a 30 minute race, guys. Um, it's week 13, so yeah, I rating and safety rating aren't affected. Um, apparently, I need to download an update for Discord. And I need to download an update for JRT. And yeah, guys, I'm uh, changing the heads up display about what I was anyway. Um, in fact, I. No, I can't do it. I don't even know where I've qualified. Which is the cool thing about it? Uh, it probably more than likely will go night time during this race. Uh, I am in our Savage chat that we've got in the HCR Discord. Uh, it's currently me because uh, other James was in here just now, but he's uh, departed by the looks of it. Need to duck out a minute and get rid of the fuel out of the cell. It's 54 litres for this thing. But yeah, you're going to see me in. Thanks, you're going to see me in RLMS a lot, guys, this week, this season. Um, I'm going to, f to hopefully do a full switch over to um, RLMS in season 3. Uh, season 2 which starts next week or today as you're watching it I am doing a 50-50 so I'm doing some VRS sprints I'm doing the VRS Enduros and I'm doing RMS and Imps as well so it's only a four, it's only a four race program this season which is cool gotta right. remember I racing add the feature it means you can stall And you can tell this is an unofficial race, guys, as we're all using custom numbers. Well, I am anyway. I'm using my 100.
thing about Hyper is weaving around, you don't get no heat. You're just scrubbing away actual tyre you can use. If you want to get your proper heat, drag the brake. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> Radio check. Spotter, radio check. <laughs> that was close. On your left. That was close. Still there. Blue flag. Still there. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Left side. Clear left. I know I shifted down there. Just felt like the right thing to do. Slow downs. Three, two, one. <laughs> you fucking idiot. As you can see guys, tempers are already flaring up. Flag, caution. If you aren't guess right. guys, I feel so confident in this car it's all Ultra line, clear right. Brown is leading the race. I can't wait to see the happy cat colours on this, a beautiful tank. But yeah guys, the two cars I'm going to mainly be using are the following. The Mercedes AMG the GT3 for GT3 events. And I will be using the BMW M8 for the big crashes. The gap to Pavlov behind is increasing. It's now 2.4 seconds. Oh shit. The driving there dipshit. <laughs> As I'm sure you can tell guys, it's uh three thirteen so nobody gives oh, a shit. Me. I'm gonna have to make sure I take you out.
This is uh, Gran Turismo Sport Daily, yes? Yeah, boy. Ah, uh, good. Just wanted to check. This is retard. Pay money to wait their own time. That's what weak fame's all about, isn't it, boys? Sorry, I'm have to... James, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. 13th place. Yellow flag. This guy, the gap's now 0.3. Sorry, guys, sorry, sorry. If you see me tapping the brakes there, guys, on the straight line, I was um, making sure the discs and the pads were in line with each other because with vibrations and being on the throttle for a long time and not using the brakes, they, you know. The vibrations could cause them to miss a line. So you press the brake a couple of times to actually make sure you've got a brake pedal for when you need to stop. It's a touring car. It's an old touring car trick. Your line. Hold your line. Clear right. Okay, James. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. It's now 2.9. And um, the photoshopped uh, logo of the car like I've got for the American Porsche, it'll be underneath the screen when it gets sorted. But at the moment, the, the delivery is being designed as we speak. Five seconds. P twelve.
Okay, James, you're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 1.2 seconds. Oh shit. Wasn't looking at all. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Alright. Clear right. Big time. The gap ahead is now 1.0. Uh, reason for the ILMS overlay as well before everybody else is. Yes, this is week 13, but this is the ILMS. It's trialing, it's called the Lucky Sevens this week. This lap for Gomez, 3.51.7 seconds. No, James, track limits, come on. Gap in front has increased to 2.9.
right behind is now 3.5. It's, it's enjoying just racing, um, yeah, just racing in general, like, let's just slow down, let's circuit until I slow down. Okay James, relax, focus, keep it smooth. 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. That's halfway, should be about 17 minutes of fuel remaining. Everybody's giving it a bit of the flashy flash, so why not? New fastest lap for Gomez, 3.51. That was a uh, 3.57.6 seconds. That's your quickest lap in this session. That's where the apex was in the dark. Turning a bit to me. As you can tell, I don't do night driving. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 2.9. Okay, James, you've used half your fuel. Slow down. Yeah. It's now about 6.5 seconds. Burrito, burrito, bip 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 burrito. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Could be warned about track limits. No, it's broke. Ah, it's broke. Has increased to 5.8. Save. Let's see if we can 
Oh, James. Track limits, come on. Oh, wrong way. So I used the Fanatec McLaren wheel at Donington Hill, then it's got a rocker switch, so for then I was scratching my left leg, I could use my right hand to gear up and gear down on the rocker, but I ain't got a rocker on this. G29. Alright, so how long this is going to take to fix? Ten minutes remaining, ten minutes. Yeah, that's probably me done then. Keep it within the track limits. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We expect to exit the pits in position 18, just in front of E19. No. Give me two years if you'll. <laughs> I'm done. <sighs> Romeo done. Oh right, guys, so this is how it ended. Thank you to everybody for watching this video, and I will see you all again later this week for iRacing is 2019 season 2 week 1 adios